Hey guys, what's up? This is Freakish. Um, I'm chilling with my friend Storm. He's an anti, so um, what I'm gonna actually teach you how to do today is how to encrypt your system, the whole entire system. Someone comes in your house, takes your system home with them, um, they plug it in, they are totally dumbfounded as to the fact that they have no idea why it asks them for a password before it even starts to load up Windows. You can't go into Windows safe crap, no, it's not going to work out for them. So, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up any browser of your choice. Go to r4p3.net. Right here, it tells you to click here to enter the forms. Go ahead and do that. If you want, you can donate some extra money to help the site run. Um, go ahead and click on tutorials. Now find encrypting your system. Now right here you can see there's free ISO burner. You want to go ahead and download that to your desktop. Um, once it's downloaded to your desktop, just leave that on your desktop. Um, click this right here. Um, then you want to click on download. You want to run this and set it all up so it all works fine or save it and set it all up so it works. Um, go ahead and close this. So now, basically, if you followed my instructions to set everything up, you should have this right here and you should have this right here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and run this as a system admin. Okay, so now it starts up. Now you want to have this all set up and everything. So go ahead and run TrueCrypt right here. You want to go ahead and click Create Volume. This will just keep running in the background. You can just drag it down here. It's useless right now. Um, encrypt the system partition or the entire system drive. Click Next. I recommend using Normal. Click Next. Encrypt the whole drive. Next. No, I recommend not encrypting the host protected area. That can be important. Next. Okay. I boot off one OS. If you boot off multiple ones, um, that's for you, but I only boot one. So I'm going to click next. I recommend using AES. It's pretty nice. Um, you can't really choose any of these. You can only use RipeMD. Let's go ahead and click next. My password is going to be 133. Oh, I'll make my password R00T. R00T. Okay, go ahead and click next. It will ask you about, it's under 20 characters. Go ahead and click yes. Click next. Okay, so now there we go. Click next again. So then go ahead and right click this and copy this location and then click next and it just created it. So then you want to go ahead and set focus to your free ISO burner screen. Go ahead and click open and paste that in there and then click open. I'm going to name the volume fixer. Go ahead and finalize the disk. Click burn. Okay, so now it'll be starting up and it'll burn it. Um, basically when it's done, it takes a little while to finalize the burning process. Um, once it's done finalizing the process, it'll just go ahead and eject your disk. Now, it's obviously not going to work with your TrueCrypt if the disk isn't in, because the TrueCrypt actually reads off the disk to um, verify that you actually have it burnt to a disk. And you want to definitely remember this password. With this password, you're never going to boot up your Windows again if you don't have this password. Um, it's really important, I would say. So I can hear it. It's getting ready to finish. And there we go. It just ejected itself. Go ahead and place the disk back in. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and click on next. It will verify. It'll this will actually show there's nothing in it. Just close it. That's false. Go ahead and click next. So then it's um, verified your rescue disk. Click next again, 
At this point, you can completely close free ISO burner. White mode, this is a pretty nice feature. Um, however, I'm not going to use it. This would be if, like, you don't want the FBI or any criminal investigators to get into your computer and start pulling data with, I don't know, crazy methods. So, go ahead and click Next. Now, this is where we um, go ahead and test it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test it out, so I will actually pick this video back up when I'm done restarting and tell you guys how it works. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace. Okay, so, um, hey guys, it's Freakish again. Basically, um, you just go ahead and click on test, and then it'll actually ask you to restart and everything after you click OK on this little thing. And then, so yeah, go ahead and restart with the disk in. That's what I did anyways. So, it goes ahead and starts up everything and all that. So then, while the disk is in, I went ahead and I typed in my password, R00T, and then I pressed enter. And that, um, it confirmed it then. Once I logged into my account, it booted up um, TrueCrypt right away. It's launched it on startup. So it's all like, yeah, com congratulations, um, it's all completed, whatever. So then it tells you about the warning about how if you lose power while it's encrypting stuff, obviously you're not gonna really have it because it lost the power. Um, so don't do this when it's like storming, you know, and it's all scary outside. You want to only do this like at a nice stable time during the day. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do it right now. So I'll go ahead and stop recording again and tell you how that goes. So I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, um, hey what's up, it's Freakish again. I actually haven't even restarted yet, I actually just clicked encrypt just, um, I don't know, a little, couple minutes ago I guess, but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really expect it to take this long for, um, you know, like four hours, five hours, six, but I mean, if, if that's security, then I'm doing it, but I'm not gonna go ahead and just wait five hours or four hours on a little test type thing, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to format my computer, because that's the whole reason I'm really even trying this out, is because I got like a virus a little while ago for downloading some video editing crap, I don't know, it was gay, I guess I got a Trojan, or um, I got added to a botnet, or something stupid, but um, yeah, so, torrents aren't always safe, not from the pirate bay like I thought they were but whatever um yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and um, quit recording and actually just completely restart my whole system and actually I'm just actually gonna format and then I'll do this once I'm done formatting and it's all fresh but yeah I guess if this is what security takes then I'm doing it so I'll see you guys later peace